What is up guys? Welcome to the Computer Information Highway. This is your Java programming tutorial. I think it's number 22. Yeah. Alright. So in this tutorial we are going to hopefully be finishing up our GPA calculator and it's going to be pretty cool. You're going to see. Alright. So we did this, if, if you remember last time, we, we were calculating the sum of all of our uh, values and we were doing that using this for loop and we were using a switch in order to uh, define a as being equal to 4 and b being 3 and c is 2 etc. We did that so that uh, we could calculate the sum of all of it and now we have to have the total number of uh, variables that we were using, the total number of values that we were using. But if you look in the for loop we kind of already have that listed in here. So we can use the grades.length that we were using before in order to, as, as our total number of variables. So let's see, let's go down here, the end of our for statement, on the very outside of it, we want to print out our GPA. Oops. So your GPA is plus and then we want to do our total and we want to divide that by grades dot length and I think that is pretty much going to do it for the oh right here so before um, we set this to a return type and now we need and now we have this argument that we need but we didn't include uh, we didn't include this or we didn't include the cup GPA up here in our main so it's never gonna get run unless we write it in here so we're gonna just write that in there real quick and it's gonna calculate the GPA using the variables or using the array that we get from get classes alright and clean that up too much white space alright and then oh yeah this is one more thing I wanted to tell you so right now this is only going to be checking capital letters it's going to be checking capital A, capital B, capital C, capital D, capital F so we can actually make that to where either all of the we guarantee that we can make it to where we guarantee that everything that comes in uh, comes in as a capital letter so in the next we want the entire line to be interpreted as uppercase so there's another method that we can use in the next you know how there was character at well there's another one that we can use and we call that two uppercase and two uppercase is going to convert the entire uh, string to uppercase and then here I actually want to show you that again alright and then you see over here that it returns a string so we're able to use those string methods after that so we can do to uppercase and then we can do dot again and then we can do character at index 0 and that will allow us to convert whatever the input is to uppercase uh, and get the first character in that in that sequence and we're going to be using that. That way everything that we com uh, comes in is going to be A, B, C, D, F uh, uppercase if they're putting in the right the right letters. So <coughs> I think this is the moment where we can run and test our program. So let's hit play. How many classes are we averaging? Let's just do four. Or let's, let's do, yeah, no, let's do four. Alright, so what grade do you have in your classes on the 8F scale? Alright, so let's just say this, we have a perfect student. We have A for 1, uh, A for 2, A for 3, and then the last one was lowercase a. So, you see, even though we used that lowercase a, it interpreted it as a, as an uppercase a, and stored it as having a 4.0 so it calculated our GPA at a 4.0 which is awesome because that means our program is working so 
Let's try something. Let's do four again. And let's try somebody that had a, a B, a C, and an F. All right, so they had a 2.25 GPA. And you see, I was using multiple of the things that I've taught you in the last couple of videos. Um, I did the lowercase to show you that I just, what I just did, I had a space in between two of them and it still stored both of the variables properly. And we went, just went back to an uppercase and everything still worked just fine and it calculated our GPA. So congratulations guys, you've made it, you've calculated your GPA. So what, 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 what exactly have we, what, what exactly can we do from here? Well, I'm going to go through and I'm going to see if we can make this a little bit more, hmm. let's see, yeah, I think I'm just going to clean this up a little bit, make this look a little bit nicer. I was just up here, I scrolled down here real quick. Um, so we have our scanner up here. I kind of want to put our class count up here. This is just to make it look a little bit nicer. And then we can do that. Because we kind of want all of our variables declared at the top. Uh, it generally makes it easier to keep track of what what variables we're working with. But don't, don't put them outside of the scope of where you're going to be using them, like I was saying before. Um, because whenever we went and debugged our last project, uh, it, it doesn't exist outside of it, and if you try to make it exist outside of it, you're consuming more resources than necessary. Uh, so it's just it's just good habit to try to avoid that kind of issue. Um, I'm gonna do char grades, and then we can just set here it is. We can set grades equals to new char class count. We'll put those together because they're linked to each other. We'll put those together because they're... Oh wait, no they're not. Um, new grades class count. We'll put it right below here. Right, and then we're going through our for loop. Alright. Okay, so... I'm going to test something with you guys, and I'm doing this for my sake and for your sake too. Let's see what happens if we change this to an int, and we change this rather than being a uh, 4.0. We'll just make it 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Alright, let's see what we print out when we get all this. Go ahead and play this. It should still work properly. Four classes. Uh, what grade do you have in your classes? Okay, so we want A, A, A. And if we put A again, it, we would have a 4.0 GPA. It would probably just come up as 4. But what I want to test here is what happens whenever we try to divide numbers and it gives us a decimal, but we're using an integer instead. So I'm going to put in B here. And you see that it gave us a 3. And the reason for that is because this averages out, I think, to like a, a let's see, 4, 8, 12, 15 over 4. So, yeah, it's like a 3.8 or something, a 3.9 or something. Um, so it is just truncating the rest of it. It's literally just cutting off the rest of it. And it's only giving us that 3 because it isn't a whole 4. It hasn't made it to 4 yet. So that's the reason in uh, earlier we made this a double because when we run this, if we get a, oh, <laughs> excuse me guys, uh, let's see, we have four classes, we get like a, 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 b, we get, okay, so it was like a 3.75, um, <laughs> I can math, I promise. So that gave us a 3.75. It just cut off the other half of it. And that is why we were using a double, because you can't divide two ints and expect to get a double return. That's just how that works. 
So I think that is where we are going to end this video. Um, let me see. I don't... Alright, yeah. I don't I don't think there's anything else I have left to teach you, so at least for this 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 program. So let me go through this real quick. I'm gonna go through it one more time and explain what exactly is happening. So we are going to be calculating the GPS or, or the GPA and to do that we require this grades array and we pass in this get classes and this get classes is going to ask for the number of classes that we're averaging it's going to uh, create an array which it did up here and it's going to fill in all of that array with uh, variables that you passed in a b c d or f on our a to f scale and then after it has created our character array it's passing it in right here and it's going to go through and it's going to start going through every element in here this is going to go through all the elements it's going to choose uh, or it's going to look at what that it's going to look at what the value of grades at x is and if it's equal to any of these it's going to increase the sum of all of the numbers that we have and after it's gone through all of those it's going to divide that the total that we got divided by the total number of uh, values that we put in so it could calculate our GPA. And I, I, I want to make sure you guys understand uh, arrays because I feel like that was the main chunk of what we wa what I wanted to teach you guys in this program. Uh, and that also you could have used an if statement. You could have used a series of ifs to do all of this right here. I was just showing you an alternate way to do it. Uh, but as far as arrays go, um, it's good to understand how you are going to set the value of arrays, how they are supposed to be called as they are in here, and uh, how you're supposed to declare them. And you need to make sure you define at some point how large it's going to be before you start using it. So that's those are some very, very important, important points for arrays. So thank you guys for making it this far. Uh, congratulations, you now have a GPA calculator. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'll get you guys some more some more Java programming tutorials out. Thanks a lot for watching.